Hey guys, Bowser Kerrigan here. Welcome to the second and final part of Kanto Week. We're on counting down the top five Pokemon from Generation 1 that should Mega Evolve. Now this video isn't going to be too serious. It's just really me tossing around some ideas for Pokemon I like that I would want to see Mega Evolve. So with that being said, here we go. Number five, Electrode. Starting off the list is Electrode, the upside down Pokeball. Why do I want to see Mega Electrode? If you want the honest answer, I'm just curious what Game Freak can do with this design. Would it make it look like a Master Ball, change its shape, or even give it something crazy like hair? I just want to see what Game Freak will do and then proceed to laugh my ass off at it. On the battle side of things, they can improve its special attack significantly, HP and defenses, and we can see Electro actually be a threat. Balls in your court, Game Freak. Wow, I just made that pun on accident. <laughs> Number 4, Rapidash. Let's be real, we've all wanted a foam blown Pegasus evolution for Rapidash at one point or another. But what I actually want to see for Mega is a horse of the apocalypse motif. Yes, give Mega Rapidash a ghost and fire typing and something like the mummy ability. Get rid of his legs and replace them with smoke or ghostly fog. You know, make it look menacing. Give it a boost in attack, speed in its defenses, and Mega Rapidash should definitely have a spot on my team. Number 3, Doug Trio. You should already know where I'm going with this one. Three Diglets come together to form Doug Trio. Why not add more for Mega Doug Trio? And okay, I know that's the lame and obvious way to do it, but honestly, I've been trying to imagine what Mega Doug Trio could look like besides more heads, and I came up with nothing. Maybe you guys are more imaginative than me, so if you have any ideas for Mega Doug Trio, I'd definitely love to hear them. Stats wise, honestly Mega Duck Trio would need a big boost in everything besides speed to be competent. Number 2, Raichu. Raichu just barely missed my top 10 Gen 1 Pokemon vid, but he's getting the spotlight here. While everyone always clamored over Pikachu, Raichu is always my favorite. For Mega Raichu, I'd give it another tail, maybe make the fur wilder, and possibly even change its color scheme. You know, give it a wild, more feral look. For stats, pump up that special attack and increases defenses and HP. Seems low defenses and HP is a common trend with first gen Pokemon. Number 1, Beedrill. And we come to Beedrill, the Pokemon that's the sole reason Pokemon should never exist in real life. I've always liked Beedrill design wise, but I've always hated the fact it sucks so hard in battle. Even during a playthrough of the story in Soul Silver, I had to bench mine because it was just so terrible. And what better way to fix the suckiness than a Mega Evolution? Design wise, how about we replace one of the stingers with a shield arm of sorts and enlarge the remaining stinger to look like a spear. I would say change his typing to part steel, but we already have way too many steel and bug types. For stats, just increase everything, cause this thing desperately needs it. So there you have it, just a quick fun rundown of the top 5 Pokemon I would like to see Mega Evolve from Gen 1. And this concludes Gen 1 week. Next Tuesday you'll be getting top 10 Gen 2 Pokemon from me. And next Thursday you'll be getting the Gen 2 variant of this video. And as I said we're working our way up all the way to Gen 6. So if you want to see all that you should definitely subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.